Hi there, Bagaholics! In this video, I will show you the Chanel drawstring backpack and uh, you will decide whether this item is right for you and uh, I'll tell you my impression from uh, two years of using the backpack and having it in my collection. <laughs> Now I bought this backpack like two or three years ago and uh, it was pre-loved but uh, it wasn't old. I guess that's a um, 22 series and uh, so, so it's not that old, I mean it's not vintage. And I absolutely fell in love with the design. All the chains, all the hardware, it looks just perfect. And when I saw the girl who was selling the backpack holding it like that, I just fell in love and I thought that um, I'll make a present to myself for Christmas. And uh, I bought this backpack from her. Well, hoping that I will be wearing it and uh, at least several times a year. Now, the first thing I learned is I will never buy Chanel lambskin again because it feels soft, it feels nice, it feels very like the leather from a luxury item and that's totally true. The disadvantage, the, the back side of that is that it's very, very soft. It's easily scratched and uh, after I use it once, after I used it once uh, here, uh, you can see the, the light scratch and uh, if, if I would be using it more, uh, I, I think that the condition would be much, much worse. So that's my last item in lambskin at all. Now, the second thing I realized about this backpack and about similar backpacks, because there were several in that collection, is that I will never wear this as a backpack. And I wonder what was the use case when Chanel designed this as a backpack? Now, the second one I realized about this backpack with time is that I will never wear it as a backpack. I mean, it has a top handle and as a top handle bag, it's perfect. It's very nice. Uh, I love the design. I love everything about it. But uh, I mean, as a backpack, you have to wear it. Uh, first thing, the chain is not the most comfortable material for the backpack straps because it's cold. Um, because it's, uh, I mean, it, it's comfortable on the shoulder, but uh, I can't say that I really love this strap, right? Like this. But the worst thing about wearing it as a backpack is that you can't, uh, all, all of your belongings are like that. So anyone who's um, behind you can take their hand and pull out something from your bag easily you will never learn about that. I mean, what was the reason, what was the idea of making it a backpack? Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I can do, I can wear it like that, but uh, then I will have to uh, carry this bag with my left hand uh, on my shoulder. And well, I don't know, that's a mystery to me. If you know the right answer, just let me know in, in the comments and let's talk about that. But uh, I, will, I will never wear it as a backpack because I really love bags that have some kind of flap uh, that covers everything that's inside the bag. So what's the purpose of the bag if you don't carry anything inside it? Um, and um, that was another disadvantage of this item. And now the chain makes it pretty heavy. I mean, for a um, leather backpack that should be really uh, lightweight, uh, right? Because I, I will be carrying a lot of stuff in this backpack and I, I want it to be lightweight. Um, but all these chains, they're actually not that heavy as you might think because the Chanel hardware is not really heavy. Uh, it, it, it's not like heavy metal. <laughs> Right? Um, so it's not that heavy, but uh, I bet 
if you eliminate this the chain, this part of the chain, it will become much, much lighter and uh, not twice as light, but I mean, it feels, um, it feel, uh, you, you will be feeling the, the weight uh, on this bag. And that's another disadvantage. And again, I'm totally in love with the design of this backpack, with the way it looks um, from the uh, front, uh, right, or of the design of the front. I would really not recommend you to have this piece in your collection unless you have 200 Chanel pieces and you're looking for something unique and you're looking for a bag that looks a little different from the all these classics, all the boys and all the Chanel bags that everyone has. I also don't think this bag is a good Chanel investment because if you are buying classics, you know that the price is always going high. The classic, everyone wants the classics, it's recognizable, it's caviar, uh, if you are buying it in caviar. And it's really a good investment. With that bag, um, I purchased it like for four thousand dollars, and uh, I can sell it even for three. But I mean, I will be selling it at two and several hundreds. Uh, so that's the not the best investment you can make when it comes to Chanel and uh, when it comes to luxury items. So if you're looking for a bag that will be a good investment, that's not the best choice for you. If you have this bag in your collection, I'm excited to hear your opinion. Uh, what do you think about it and do you wear it a lot? And now, um, thank you for watching. If this video was useful, like it, subscribe to the channel and see you next week. Bye-bye.